In this video, I'm going to be walking you through our surgery HMP uh, notebook, but it's also a, a four-day soap. So it's really a progress notebook that you can use either for a surgery outpatient rotation or surgery inpatient rotation, but you can also use this very well for an inpatient medicine or any type of inpatient service. And you'll see why in just a second. So every notebook is um, a series of four pages in their template. The first page is going to be things like your the patient's information, uh, the HPI, past medical history, social history, family history, meds, allergies, and physical exam. Just like any other, you're going to have areas for your physical exam, your labs, and, and different types of imaging and your assessment and plan, as well as your to-do. So. With each of these, the HPI and the assessment and plan are going to be pretty big areas compared to other notebooks, pretty big areas for you to write. So if you have bigger handwriting, that's going to be uh, extremely helpful. When we look onto our second page, this is really where the progress notebook portion comes into play. Here you're going to have four days. So this is one full day two days, three days, four days, and technically since you oftentimes round in the morning and you round in the afternoon uh, in surgery, technically this could also be updated as you go on. That's not really what I ever used it for, but um, typically I had a one day, two day, three day, four day. So here you're going to have just common things, your events or your subjective, what, what happened overnight, did the patient complain of pain, did they have any bowel movements, any gas, we kind of give you these tips of at least the bare minimum of what you need to remember because this is every time type of surgical patient, they're going to want to know that. Any type of hospital day or post-op day, the objectives, your physical exams, your ins and outs. It's going to be your labs. Then below where your assessment plan and your to-do, those are going to be filled out during either during rounds or right before rounds if you want to kind of give yourself some tips in terms of what to remember when you're giving a presentation. Um, that's what you're going to have here in the assessment and plan and then you can kind of update it based on what the attending shows. And so there's going to be a kind of we cut out a lot of other things compared to our progress notebook um, in terms of giving you more room to write and what is more relevant for a surgical rotation. And here, you're just going to see, we're going to have our reference sheet that you can kind of guide you through some of the more common things that you may be referencing during your surgery rotation. Be sure to check out our website, medicalbasics.com, for more educational resources like our medical ID cards. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips and lessons.